watching HuffPost Live. I'm Nancy Red, and... Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. That iconic line has graced audiences' screen for 50 years now, making Days of Our Lives NBC's longest-running drama series in history. And here to celebrate the incredible milestone, we have stars Deidre Hall, Galen Gehring, and Stephen Nichols. Hello, you Hello. three. We're so happy to have you. We are Hello. thrilled to be here. Thrilled and here. I wish I could say you just wanted to stop by HuffPost Live to hang out with me, but one of the reasons you're here is you have this great book celebrating the 50 years, right? Absolutely. Greg Ming, our executive producer, has written this extraordinary uh, coffee table book that chronicles 50 years uh, of Days of Our Lives. It's the uh, on stage and the behind the stages and the secrets and the shots you've never There's seen There's all before. kinds of stuff in there we've never seen. We mm -hmm. didn't even know it existed. This is like way, way deep. Oh, it's, it's see. deep way into deep. the rabbit hole. Everybody's <laughs> naked. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's a lot of full frontal nudity. Yeah. You're going to love. There's not really. Just, no, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you just, you just, <laughs> just, just we've all, a lot of people are canceling yeah. their orders. Yeah. They're like, yes, ah. yes. Yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> but what can we expect? I mean, 50 years. Can you even sum it up in a book, Stephen? Can you sum it up in a book? No, no. There's no way. I think what they call this is a satellite view of 50 years. And, you know, there's, there are a lot of beautiful images in there. And beautiful quotes from some of our actors, executive producers, soap press, uh, people all over the world. I mean, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful book. Shout out to Soap Press because those who know yeah. know. Okay, they're probably watching this right now, oh, creating sure. a write-up that will that happen in like two seconds because it's such a devoted fan base. I mean, that's oh, yeah. one of the great things, and and people love their soaps. And what are they going to love, especially about this book? What types of insights did you find that you were like, wow? Like you said, you didn't even know. Well, yeah, you just you're seeing it's a trip down memory lane, so you can find stuff in here like, oh my God, I didn't even know they had pictures. I didn't know we were on location in this crazy village, wherever that is. Like, <clears throat> look at that. Yeah, Steven. and so many storylines that you open the book and you go, oh, I forgot we even forgot did that. about those. So yeah, that really was fun. that was a lot of fun. I mean, and they're wonderful interviews. Yeah, well, we taped so many shows that even people are asking me today, like, well, what's going to happen? Because we're five months ahead. Well, this is going back 50 years, so you can really take that trip down memory lane. Right, let's talk about that, because what's going to happen? I mean, when you're in and out, and as all of you have been on the show, you're stables, you have huge fan bases. Were you ever worried about what's going to happen next? I mean, was it always like, well, is this going to be the episode where I get killed off? Well, you, as you said, we're five months ahead, so so we know a little bit farther ahead than this episode getting killed But off. I think she's talking about, like, when you get the scripts. Is that what you mean? Yes. Like specific? Yeah, I think so. I think you're always kind of worried. You don't know. I mean, the writers could do anything at any given moment, and they might. That's right, I got possessed interesting. Once, yeah. That's right. Yeah. And it never left. And you had a twin. <laughs> 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 and see, when, when you see these things, it's so funny. It's like it's like a real family member, right? You kind of grow together. You know all the intricacies, the ins and outs. So we could not have this segment without our fantastic fan base, who loves you all just as much as the rest of the world. Right now, let's bring them in, starting right wow. here. We have a tweet from Tammy Peerdom. She says, I have a question for Deidre Hall. Does she have a favorite storyline from her times on Days? Wow. Um, thank you for asking, uh, and, and I, people always think I'm going to say possession, which I sometimes do, but it really is, I, I, I played with my identical twin sister, Andrea um, Hall Gengler, uh, for a while. Once when she was Samantha, and another time when she was the evil curmudgeon um, Hattie Adams, and that was just, <laughs> yes, yes. I it, love was, the it was spectacular <laughs> fun, and, and so great to work with her. What about you? Do you have a favorite storyline in your past? Or well, I, I, I got to play an evil twin story, you know, which is when you know you've made it, by the way. Yes, time. when you get the evil that. twin. <laughs> so, and I remember the, the producer came to me and said, so we have this thing, I don't know if you'd be interested. And I was like, are you kidding me? So uh, my co-star at the time really grew to hate this person, however, because he tortured her. And uh, I remember she was like, I can't wait till he is gone. <laughs> Ali Sweeney, that was. Um, but that was a lot of fun, because I normally don't get to play mm. that guy. I'm very morally upstanding and nice person. Oh, okay. He was not. Oh. And his departure is great fun. Yeah. Once you played a nice character for a long time, boy, whew, it's, it's nice to break out of that. Shakes things up. How about you, sir? I think the Emily Gideon storyline was a favorite of both mine and Mary Beth's, who, played, who plays Kayla on the show. We found a diary in an old 
mansion in a trunk, and it was a story of the Civil War couple, this tragic story. And we got to become those characters and go on location in South Carolina. It was uh, beautifully done, beautifully shot. It was, it was gorgeous. There are some pictures of that in this book, in fact. Well, and here's the thing, there are pictures of that, but I want to hear about what goes on in your brain when you read these crazy things. Do you ever question the writers? Do you ever say, really, come on, really? What were you drinking? Or smoking? Sometimes. Yes. Let's talk to the writers. Yeah. They let you talk to the writers? Well, they do now, yeah. more, more than ever before, I think. It's, it's a really collaborative atmosphere right now. But with that said, I think, and certainly, you know, speaking for myself, like, I feel like my character is more tuned in than he's ever been. Like, those moments where you're like, oh, my God, are usually something that's so abstract, and they're like, well, you have to make it work unless it's, like, something that's... But right now, the show is the strongest and the most well-written, I think, that it's been, certainly since I've been there, and it's a lot of fun, and so you're not having those feelings. You're having these feelings like, oh, my God, I get to act this, and that's really an exciting thing. And to have a show that's on for going in its 50th year and to be able to say that, I think is, is pretty special. It is, yeah. All right, Barb wants to know right here, how long are the work days on the show? Is it sunrise to sunset? Not anymore. Not anymore, no. it used to be when I, when I started it was. <laughs> 12 really? hour days, easily 12 hours. Yeah. Why, what's changed? Uh, the executive staff has changed who no longer believe that that's necessary. Um, so uh, it, it's, it's such a joy because it really was. Everybody showed up at 6 a.m., did a dry block, did a camera block, did a dress rehearsal, and then finally did a stage-by-stage -stage tape. And that was, uh, those were really long days. Well, Andrea Wellmaker joins us live. And are you just loving hearing all about the ins and outs of the past 50 years of days? I am. Hey, I'm, Andrea. Hey, Steve. My Twitter friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. Hi. So Here's excited and so nervous also. Oh. Um, wow. I didn't even know we had to be this talking technology to you. in the world. This is, this I'm freaking out. What's going on here? <laughs> this is not happening. Your evil twin is about to come in via hologram. Wait, wow. Andrew, where are you? Where is, I'm still here. Where, where, where are you physically? Oh, where am I? I'm in Evans, Georgia, um, which is uh, really Augusta, Georgia. Okay. Uh, so, and Galen, I'll be in Atlanta on Friday. Okay, mind album. blown. This is even getting weirder. I oh, can't be that. Well, well, luckily, these, these are friendly fans. Yeah, and exactly. So. <laughs> yeah. And I know that you have a great question, right? Yes, for Stephen. Um, what has been the best thing about your return, and, or what has been the hardest thing? Okay. Hmm. The best thing about my return is that I'm back for this uh 50th anniversary, and the other best thing is that, the, as Galen was saying, the atmosphere on the set is very collaborative now. Everybody is doing their very best work. Most people leave ego at the door and want to work together and help each other mm -hmm. get through these, you know, these shows. And it's, it's just an amazing, beautiful atmosphere now. And I think, and I, I was on in the 80s, I think this is the best work we've done since that period in the 80s when it was the Right. You know, super couple time and when the production values were very high and there was a hell of a lot more money, we're doing the same level of work or better uh, at this point. And so I, everyone should tune in now because it's really, really good. Well, you're definitely tuning in, right? Oh, absolutely. And I have watched since I was 15. Um, back in the 80s, so I am absolutely loving it now. Oh, well, right, we're, right. we're glad that you could be here. You definitely have to check out the book. Lara Abdallah is up next. Hi, Lara, how are you? Hi, I'm doing pretty good, how are you? When did you start watching Days? <laughs> oh my gosh, um, literally probably since I was born. I'm 30 now and I started watching, like I remember eight months old, my mom would have it on in the background. So. Wow. I still remember some of the 80s clips. <laughs> wow. That's <awesome. laughs> so cool. I know you have a great question, right? Yes. Um, I'm a huge Deidre Hall fan, um, and I've followed you and followed the John Marlena storyline for years. Um, so I want to know, can you give John Marlena fans just a little bit of hope that they will solidify those provisional wedding vows that we saw two months ago? How cute are you? Um, uh, uh, I, I know John and Marlena are big fan favorites, and I'm, I'm thrilled about that. And, and we, as we've said, we're five months ahead of you. 
So you have some very promising just and, a and oh, more than just a little. Yeah. Um, some very exciting scenes coming up, and not in the oh, thank goodness. future. Yeah. Just hang on, it's coming. <laughs> All right, Stephen. In the romance department, Liz K wants to know: Can we look forward to some romance for Steve and Kayla soon? Oh, absolutely. I'll I'll tease one little thing. I get to speak three different languages to my sweetness. Mm. How about that? Is Pig Latin one of them? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> It'll sound like Pig Latin, but it's not supposed to be. Did you did you have to have accent coaching? Uh, no, but there's a stage manager on the set named Stuart who uh, is fluent in several languages, and he corrected me a couple times. Mm. Are you are you looking forward to that, Laura? Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to everything. I feel like since the new writers took over a few months ago, Days has been on like full ride forward. It's it's Good. been an amazing um, right. few months. I mean, total change. Well, Galen, that's what you said. Right? Yeah, mm. believe yeah. it wholeheartedly. Yeah, and it'll continue. It's it's really exciting for us right now as actors to be able to sink our teeth into things that. I don't know, maybe we just weren't there before in the last regime and are certainly there now. It's really, it's really fun. All right, well, speaking great of, storytelling. Speaking of things that were not there in the first regime, Summers McKay, it's your turn. You are a love guru. You are a uh, sexual health entrepreneur, and Ooh. you have a great question, right? Um, I do have a great question, but uh, Nancy, I wanted to give you a little background, and I recognize uh, some of those faces. You might recognize mine. My very first job, my first entrepreneurial job ever, was babysitting for Mary Beth's kids. So uh, I took okay. care of her kids all through really? high school. Really? So, oh, yes. Okay. So you might remember me as being the Saturday night babysitter over at uh, at Mary Beth's Your house. face is very familiar. Yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably in some family photos, so <laughs> nice to see you. Do again. What a small um, world. So I I fell in love with soap operas and in love with love stories from an early age because I was babysitting for Mary Beth. Um, but one of the things that people really uh, really tune into soap operas for, for is the portrayal of love and the fact that love can survive really arduous trials and and tricky situations. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering over the course of the time you all have been on the show, how have you seen love evolve? What's different with the way that they portray relationships and love now in the past? And uh, and just kind of what your experience has been in being in love on air. Hmm. Well, I, th I think one of the, the standards of daytime is that, that good people get to fall in love and ha be happy at some point, and the evil characters just sort of don't. Am I simplifying that too much? Probably. Okay. <laughs> That's my answer. I'm sticking to it. And the evil it characters makes sense, don't really though. care about really love. Yeah. They're just, they're just yeah. manipulating people. What do they care? Yeah. Um, yeah. Love is love is a good thing on uh, on soaps, right? It's all and about all, love. It's love all about love and romance and family and and home. It's you know, it is about love. That's what soaps are about. It's also amazingly inclusive, what I find is uh, fantastic. Soaps frequently go there before other aspects of the media do. You officiated the first gay wedding, right? I did, Sonny and Will's wedding. Right, so when, again, so was this a conversation? It's always interesting when we're thinking about, uh, what was the conversation like in pre-production and planning? Was it a big deal? Was it a thing? Uh, were you interested to see what the audience reaction would be? It was a big deal to get it right. And we wanted it to be sensitive and elegant and tender. Um, the vows were extraordinary, uh, and we all were deeply moved by the speeches that were given and the vows that were exchanged. Mm. Um, and we also wanted to be sensitive to our audience that maybe wasn't quite at, at that stage in their development yet. All right. Well, here's uh, and when we do this summers, it's really important because again. People grow up on soaps. They get, for better or worse, their romantic inclinations is what romance is from soap yeah. operas, right? Well, they're getting a lot of, uh, of early stage training in romance and respect and caring for your partners. And I do love that Days and many of the soaps have advanced the dialogue and kind of given us tools and vocabulary to talk about love. So mm. I think you're, you're so right, Nancy, um, that you guys, you guys really do sort of lead the charge in love. So thanks for doing that. Well, I think to her point, 
the idealism that love can overcome all is is an overriding theme and it's a great theme that you know you'll have these melodramatic like crazy situations for instance my character was brainwashed and lost his memory and all he had was a key and this key with it it took him to a door and then you know simultaneously his lost love also had this key and found that you know and they ended up <laughs> together so it was things like that that people want to believe in that are like amazingly optimistic when everything is against you if there's love it will conquer all and obviously that's a really you know, great theme yes but here's the thing let's be honest soap operas are are yes about love and relationships but the num nums are really what people often tune into the num -nums? Uh, yes the num -nums. yes num -nums. <laughs> what are the num nums, num -nums. <laughs> well we actually dug oh, through wow. None of us the know days what the of our are. lives oh, archives wow. yeah, yeah the the num -nums. Pretty oh, the kissing oh, and the hugging <laughs> Oh, I yeah. see. So the chew wow, face chewing. that is really sweaty. <laughs> oh, uh, baby, come on now. What's happening there? Yes, talk about this. What's it like? These I are. Love what's this. funny is, especially in the land of uh, of. Can I have this? <laughs> Wait, we'll we'll cut you a clip <laughs> for your my own, own personal use. Personal use. These are. The, it, it seems like an endurance test. <laughs> when we're Gorgeous. looking at it from the position of an actor. Yeah. Wow. What's going through your head when you're shooting these fantastic erotic? God, those lips are so sweet and soft. I just. That's what's going through my head. Is it work? No. It's not work. Well, it's it's you know everybody beats says the love ditches. love scene. Yeah, it sure beats <laughs> digging ditches. Yeah. Okay, look you look know. look. Oh my God. The hair is fantastic. The beauty is. So when we're looking, it's like you great. said, there's a lot of sweat. Is the sweat real, or is it a, a makeup let's, let's uh, application? They spray it on. They spray it. They spray the sweat on. So is yeah. there like a, a designated? And sometimes too much. Oh really? Yeah. Have you ever had to say less sweat? Yeah, mm -hmm. less sweat. Oh yeah. Do you ever drip that much when you're... No, not that much. So, I, I don't even know how to handle this conversation. Oh, my goodness. This could, oh, my goodness. Is, well, that's what a lot of people are saying when they're watching. It's interesting. That's one of the aspects of being a soap actress. Oh is you, have, you go there. You go there with the, the brainwashing. You go there with the num-nums. Uh, has there, there, been, yeah. a, have there ever been a scene written for you that you've been just like, uh... Too much no, 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 no. <laughs> I guess. I'm single, okay? So let me just let that be a whole sentence. Okay. So sometimes that's that's all the making out I get during the week. So it's, anyway. Um, uh, wow. And you and Drake. That's Drake. some good stuff. Yeah, yeah Drake. By the way, I've me. never seen her stomped right now. This is I, so amazing. Uh, amazing. Really? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, she well. She's in a num num coma. <laughs> 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 Writers, I would like some credit Let's if we introduced the yeah. num num coma num -num. from yeah. just too much sweat makeup application. All right, moving on. There's a video question coming in now. Let's take a look to see what they want to know. Hi guys. Um, so since the show is coming up on a big milestone and a big achievement in soap history and television history, personally as actors, um, all three of you. What do you consider as a big achievement or a big milestone in your career? Hmm. Well, I think it, it speaks for itself, the fact that we're on this show that's been on for 50 years and fortunate enough to say that we feel like the show is it's the strongest it's been. I mean, that's an incredible achievement to sit here and feel the way I feel about the show and know that, uh, as Stephen said, there's some incredible work that's been happening. I mean, a, a tremendous amount of it, and uh, I'm really proud of it, and looking forward to uh, everyone seeing it and getting the feedback from that. Well, it's not fair to compare, but we must, because yeah. when all of the other soaps just cannot, couldn't get it together, uh, whether online, on TV, have been canceled, here Days is. Why do you think Days made it 50 years? The fans, the stories, the, mm. the delicate balance between um, being faithful to characters that have been there for a long time and also introducing new people and keeping like for instance a story like her officiating and uh, being there for the gay being wedding topical. like being, the gay wedding was very right. uh, 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 first so it's a, i think that being on five days a week and being in people's homes I, I actually got a something on facebook or twitter this morning or somebody i tweeted something out about us being on these shows and they said thank you so much for being a second family in our home all these years. They feel like we're their family. 
you know, it's, you know, that's just amazing. Well, absolutely. And you also not only a family, but matchmaker. Uh, Ronan Barry Morton wants to know, I wonder how many real life couples have met on days of our lives over the years? Can you hmm. rattle well, off some? certainly Bill and Susan Hayes are legendary right, right. Uh, in the audience and, and on the show. And they met um, on, on the day set. Ari. Ari. And, and Sean Christian. And Kyle. And Kyle. <laughs> and Carl? Seriously? Yes. Oh, yeah. Carl married, first and then? Yeah, married had a baby. It must be somebody else. There was a lot of nom noms. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 well, uh, well, well, Rhoda Barry Morton doesn't just wonder about the real life couples, but like you said, Stephen, she also wanted to send you a heartfelt message because she also views you as family. Take a look to see what she wanted to say. One of my most fondest moments uh, in memories, I should say, of Days of Our Lives is when my father discovered the program uh, from multiple hospital visits. And when he would come home, he would actually watch and tape it for all of us. We'd head over there on a Sunday, have Sunday dinner, enjoy glasses of wine and conversation, but it was always surrounded with us watching days of our lives. Unfortunately, Pops passed from his illness, but I'll always remember. Beautiful. What a blessing to be a part of people's families in that way and, and yes. to, to provide the wonderful positive memories, which uh, you, can't, you can't make up. Well, we find a lot about, about multi-generational families on the show. We have uh, people that watch with their grandmothers mm -hmm. and, and you know, with their parents. And, um, and we also tackle topics that are important. Um, what I heard when we did the, the gay storyline was, Wow, Will coming out. I didn't know how to tell my family, and then I saw the storyline, and then I just had my mom sit with me and watch it. <sighs> so th there's, there's a learning curve there, too, that helps people uh, understand how to behave in certain situations. Mm. Before we go, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask this, because we would need to put either to proof or to to bed, or literally or figuratively, <laughs> the the rumor. Not more num nums. Are, not more num nums. No, more a different type of emotion. Don't go can back. Can you? Them. Yes or no? Can you cry on cue? Yeah. Yeah. Deirdre can. That's for sure. Go. Oh, right now. Yes. Don't do it. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think everybody can. You, can you cry on cue when when need be? Uh, I can I can try not to. That's usually what I. There you go, that's, man. That's, I, that's <laughs> you know it. Yeah. I don't. I'm trying to to. You're gonna make me cry right now. This thing, but no. That's. <laughs> 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 yeah, me too. All right, well, we'll have to wait and see. We want to tell our fans that we're going to be uh, at a book signing coming up. All right, then that's very important here yeah. in New yeah. York City. Yes. Okay, yes. great. <laughs> yes, so tomorrow, they were there tomorrow. tomorrow noon at Barnes & Noble on Fifth together. Avenue. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then tomorrow night uh, in New Jersey. All right, so for those of you watching, Barnes & Noble on Fifth Avenue on Tuesday and then at night on Tuesday as well, they're going to be in New Jersey. Do you have the times for these days? It's 6.30 at, uh, tomorrow evening. It's noon tomorrow afternoon at the Fifth Street, uh, Barnes & Noble. But if they go to, to uh, Days 50, at Days 50, help me out here. I can't. Okay, I'm fine. Sure well, luckily for them, the information <laughs> on these book oh, signings is going to be in our resource well below this video screen. So all of you interested can check that information out right now. And of course, follow the hashtag Days50. They're very, very active on social media. They know how to promote and they know how to get you to their events. So make sure you check them out. Check out the book. For now, Deidre Galen and Stephen, thank you so Nancy. much for being here. Thank Such you. a pleasure. Thank you. So much. Thank you. <laughs> a big thanks as well to Andrea Lara Summers and everyone from the HuffPost Live community who hung out with us. More information on the book, Days of Our Lives, 50 Years, is in our research well, like I said. And check out days50.com to see where the stars will be next. That's the website. And if you like what you just heard, you can listen to it anywhere because HuffPost live interviews and conversations are now available on iTunes and SoundCloud. Stay with us. There's much more coming up on HuffPost Live. <laughs>